The Ricoh Theta Z1 has many plugins that are fantastic and you can use these to add additional functionality to the camera. There's many plugins that do live streaming direct from the camera over Wi-Fi. We're going to focus on this Theta RTSP live streaming plugin so that you can send a, a video stream from the Z1 direct to a computer. To use this, we're going to use the Ricoh Theta desktop software. So it's this software that you're probably using to view the images on your Windows or Mac computer. Uh, this software is available for download. It's called the Basic App. And you click download and you install it. Although you're probably using it to view the pictures, there is under the file menu, plugin management. Once you connect your Z1 to the computer with a USB cable, you can now manage the plugins. If you haven't installed the plugin, go to the plugin store page and click on the install. It will then launch the desktop app automatically. This assumes you have the desktop app installed as in the previous step. With that, you're off and running and can manage your plugins. The order of the plugins on the Z1 does not matter. You can select it from the camera body button in the next step. You can have three plugins that can be activated at any given time. You can have more than three plugins installed on your, in your camera. It's just that from the menu system on the Z1, you'll be able to select three. So this order, it can be any order. So I'm going to select Theta RTSP streaming as a second plugin. Click OK. This, I have it set to connect in client mode so it can live stream over this client mode connection here. Connect it directly to my router. It's untethered. I'm going to long press more than two seconds, the mode button again. So I have the plugin menu come up. I'm going to short press the mode button one time in my case because the RTSP plugin is the second plugin. Once that number two is selected, press the shutter button and the RTSP plugin is now started in a wireless live streaming mode. Normally, the camera will have this type of display right when you boot it up. We're going to press the long press, the so let's press it, long press, it's longer than three seconds. So when you long press it, it's the third from the bottom, right? or, or sorry, second from the bottom, it's the mode button. When you long press it, this window comes up here. So let's do it again, so you can see how it looks like. So there's a difference between the long press and the short press, it's uh, either three seconds or less than three seconds. So if, you, if you're if you just cycling through it here and you're pressing it for less than two or three seconds, you're not gonna get the plugin menu, okay? I'm gonna lo long press it for more than two seconds. This other menu is gonna pop up. So if I continue to press it, I can select, right now it's on plugin number one which is the wireless live streaming plugin. It's not the plugin we're gonna use. So I'm gonna short press it now to switch it to, it says RTSP live streaming here. Once it's on RTSP live streaming, I'm gonna press the shutter button on the camera. This will activate the plugin. The plugin is now running here. This USB cable in it, it, it has no impact on the camera. Uh, I just have it in to charge it for the battery. So I'm going to run it from this test so that the camera is completely untethered. There's no USB cable attached to it. You can be out in the field. It is going to drain the battery, but maybe that's, uh, that's okay for this situation or you want to use a mobile battery. But let's go back to the computer and actually access it from the plugin. The next step is to find the IP address of the Ricoh Theta. So the Ricoh Theta is connected in client mode. When it's connected in client mode, your, your, your router in your home office, or it could be your mobile phone, is actually assigning an IP address to the Ricoh Theta Z1 camera. So you probably don't know the IP address of the Theta initially. 
You could set up and map it to the MAC address on your router. But if you don't have access to the admin panel of your home router, or you, know, you don't want to hassle with it, I'm using this free tool called Nmap ZenMap GUI. And I scan the network of, of my local computer that I want to connect from my local computer to the Z1. You can also use the Rico Theta mobile app. Uh, in this case, there's a, a device here from the Rico company. It's a Z1. There's only one device from Rico on my network. And here's the IP address. So I'm going to use this IP address that I found through this particular tool, ZenMap. You can also use ARP. There's many other tools to find the IP address. I'm just using this one because it has a GUI interface. So you just put the, the network here uh, of my local computer. If you don't know the network of your local computer on Windows, you just type IP config. And it's going to give you the current IP address of this particular computer plus the default gateway. So if you want to scan the network, it's the first uh, three dotted quad, which I got from IP config on Windows, and then dot zero hyphen 255 for this regular scan. I'll just select regular scan and press the scan button, and eventually it will, uh, all the devices on your network will come up. So look for Rico and then find the IP address. There's other ways to find the IP address. This is just one way. Once you know the IP address of the camera, you can use a some type of viewing software such as VLC to access the stream. So let's go into VLC, which is free software, is open source. Uh, you can have multiple computers access the same camera as well too. We're gonna open up a network stream here so select network stream. I have a IP address here, which is RTSP colon slash last 192.168.2.200. This is the IP address of the camera I just found. Colon 8554 slash live question mark resolution equals and then the resolution that you want. So I'm going to use the lowest resolution for this test. Press play. And the, uh, the stream comes up. It looks quite nice. It's in equi rectangular mode. Uh, there's other tools you can use to get it into viewable mode, for, such as uh, GoPro, GoPro VR player, uh, Pot player. But let's just view it for surveillance in equi rectangular mode here right now. That URL is fairly uh, long. Right? So go to the Theta RTSP streaming. Uh, section on the store click on this more it now opens up and there's pretty good directions right so copy and paste the rtsp stream here uh just copy it and it lists the available resolutions as well too so this is what is here on the instructions and it lists these available resolutions. Let's put that down too so you can see it. So the resolution is here and I've just copied this line here from the directions. All right, so I'm going to delete it, the thing, the brackets, including the brackets and then from my IP address. So let's copy it. This is the IP address of the theta again. I'm going to paste it in. So now this is the exact string uh, that we're going to put in to VLC. So I'll copy it. Go back to VLC and we'll open up the network stream again. I'll just paste the entire thing in that we just built. I'll press play. Boom. Now it's at uh, four. HD resolution and it's looking fantastic, right? So on this left panel, this is my normal webcam on my computer. So you can see that the, the camera is completely untethered. There's no USB cable here that's needed to uh, stream it from direct from the Z1 to the uh, Windows computer. And this panel on the right hand side is the uh, VLC stream that's coming over Wi-Fi direct to the computer. And you can see that we have this full 360 degree 
view like that's so much more uh, it covers so much more of the area than the the standard webcam that it's there, there's no way that uh, the webcam could uh, even compete with the field of view that you're getting from the the Z1 so hope you had a, a good time with this it's, it's actually pretty exciting once you start playing around with it I'll subscribe to the channel we'll be giving you more tips and tricks on how to become a stream master with the Ricoh Theta. Have a great day.